Hello kids, welcome back to story reading. So today I'm going to read this story, Sit the Science Kid, Why Did My Ice Pop Melt? When Sid discovers that the ice pop he left out overnight has melted, he starts to wonder, why don't ice pop stay frozen all the time? So I'm going to start this book, Why Did My Ice Pop Melt? Oh no, Sid cries, is spotting an orange puddle on the table. My ice pop, I forgot about it and now it's all melted. Sid asks, why can't ice pops stay frozen? Have you ever wondered why frozen things melt? Sid picks up the ice pop stick and hurries downstairs. Look, mom and dad, he says. I left my ice pop on the table and it melted. Said, mom is not happy. You left an ice pop out overnight, she asks. Sid promises to clean up the melted mess. But then, can we make more ice pops? He asks. Dad smiles. Sure, he says. After breakfast, mom and dad help Sid make two more ice pops, one for Sid and one for his friend Gabriela, who is visiting after school. Mom puts the ice pops in the frozen freezer. Now all you have to do is wait, she says. A minute later, Sid opens the freezer door again. Hey. They are not ready yet, he complains. Dad laughs. The juice need more time to freeze, Sid. At school, Sid has a question for his friends. Has a frozen treat ever melted before you could eat it? Yes, an ice cream sandwich, says May. A red, white and blue ice pops. Gabriela adds, Gerald's grins, my bowl of ice cream melted once. It changed into cherry, banana and chocolate chip soup. Soon teacher Susie says, it's rug time. She tells her that he is wondering about why frozen things melt. If you want something to stay frozen, Teacher Susie asks, where is the best place to keep it? The freezer, everyone calls out. May turns to Sid. That's why your ice pop melted, she says. It was not in the freezer. Teacher Susie explains that as liquids get colder, they freeze. When the ice cream is not kept cold, it melts. Sid has a new question. Can you freeze liquid back into ice? Yes, teacher Susie notes. When something can change back to back and forth, it's called reversible change. Come on. She adds with a big smile. Let's investigate freezing and melting in the super fab lab. Teacher Susie shows everyone a block of ice. Sid is amazed to see fruit frozen inside. That fruit is going to be our snake today. Teacher Susie tells them, but Gabriela is confused. How are we going to get it? She asks. We can wait for the block of ice to melt into water, says Sid. Then he remembers something important. Oh no, it 
takes a long time for ice to melt. Everyone thinks of ways to make the ice melt faster. What if we pour something warm on the block of ice? Sid asks. Good idea, teacher Susie replies. Is there some sort of liquid we could use? Gabriela spots the sink. Warm water, she says. Teacher Susie pour warm water over the block of ice. Now try to get the fruit out. She tells everyone. But the ice is still frozen solid. Teacher Susie pours more water on ice. And then some more. At last the ice begins to melt. And the friends can get their snack. Hmm, Gerald says happily. These grapes are good and cold. On the way home from school, Sid and Gabriela tell Sid's grandma about melting and freezing. Ice can melt into water and water can freeze into ice. Explain Sid. It's called reversible change. The friends says together. When they go to when they get to Sid house, Sid and Gabriela peek nervously, nervously into the freezer. Yes, they are finally ready. Sid and Gabriela cheer loudly. Now the friends can have another cool snake. Frozen ice pops. See you later, scientist, Sid says. That's the end of the story. Hope you like this story. Please like, subscribe and share this story with your kids and friends.